guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Callie Alexandria so glad you're here with me today it is currently I think almost 5 p.m. so it's time to start my evening routine I just got off work and yeah that's what this video is going to be I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my summer evening routine and take you guys with me through the evening so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do give this video a big like because it supports me and my channel and make sure you subscribe because I post Wednesdays and Sundays so it's going to be a super chill night I don't have any plans to go anywhere so it's going to be a good one I might spend a little bit more time outside it is exactly 501 right now so I might do that play with my dog a little bit and eat some dinner and just see where we go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it'll probably be more on the short side since it'll only be like me filming over the course of a couple hours so with the split clips and everything it should be a quick one but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get right to it go outside is that what you want okay let's go got mom watering the flowers okay. one you want to sit first? Show them how you can sit. Sit. Good boy. Can you do a small bark? Small bark. Oh, good boy. Go get it. Come here. Come here. Lucy, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hi, Bubba. <sighs> Underhanded. just got a bath you look wet but I can't let her down because she'll run away unlike the big dog my first task of the night was to cut this pineapple that I had for so long I have been procrastinating cutting it up so that's just what I'm doing here but I am a sucker for fruit I love snacking on fruit so much that is my go-to snack but a couple of weeks ago I found out I was kind of eating too much I'm talking way too many servings for one human per day and it was just making me feel really bloated so I've been trying to do better with that Up next, I'm just doing some stretches. This day in particular, I did a pretty hard workout and I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember to, do, to stretch all the time. So tonight I wanted to make sure I was stretching, but of course had to give my little girl a kiss. And then at this moment, my mom came in and she didn't like that her foot was in my video. So yeah, she left, but <laughs> that's what happened. But I always feel so much better when I make sure that I stretch and I feel like I am just not flexible at all, honestly. I have the worst flexibility trying to be better with it, but I was never flexible and honestly I probably don't think that I'll ever be, but I think stretches helps your muscles so dang much, so make sure you're stretching. Now it's time to sit on the couch. I did this before I showered, but I'm just getting my Instagram posts ready for tonight. So typically I post either at 7 or 8 p.m. Central Time every other day. Sometimes I'll post every day if I have a lot of content, but that's typically my schedule. You really can't have an evening routine without lighting a candle, and this one smells so good. I'm pretty sure I just got it at Walmart and then next I'm just getting ready for my shower and putting my hair up so I don't wash my hair every single time you guys might know that just from watching my videos but I literally wash my hair maybe twice a week absolute max Finished with my shower and now it's time for my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm just using these Cetaphil wipes. So ever since I did get my rhinoplasty, which is a nose job, I couldn't wash my face for a while and it turns out my skin actually enjoyed that. I feel like less is more with your skin and I actually just started using these wipes um, more often and not washed my face as much and I feel like my face has cleared up 
so much so if you're like struggling with acne or something or your skin maybe you're putting too many products and too much on your face and I literally didn't even realize that I had been doing that but yeah And then I put some vitamin C serum on because it just helps brighten my face. I struggle with uneven skin tone, so I find that this helps a lot. I do this maybe once a day, every other day. But yeah, I really like that because I feel like vitamin C, it just helps brighten your skin and make you look glowy. Eye cream is the best thing ever, my favorite. This is from Ole Hendrickson, I think that's how you say it. I'll link all these products below so you guys can check them out, but eye cream is amazing. I use this and the Tula Balm Brightening one or whatever. I'll link that one as well if you guys are interested, but if you don't already use eye cream, I highly recommend that you do so as soon as possible. And then for moisturizer, I'm using Cetaphil. I find that Cetaphil is just so gentle for my skin and yeah I really like this moisturizer that they have I use that and their wipes religiously I just love Cetaphil and no this is not sponsored I just really love them I always find myself in cozy outfits I rarely get dressed up and get ready. Now, I do like getting dressed up sometimes, but I find that I'm just more in casual comfy wear. And if you guys watch my vlogs, you would know that. I rarely dress up in my vlogs. But anyway, now on to dinner time. So I'm having some pork steaks. So pork steaks are actually a St. Louis slash Midwest thing. But let me know if you guys know what it is, but we just had some leftovers. And then this little pasta salad, which my mom made with some whole wheat pasta. It was really good, and I don't like tomatoes at all, so that is what I'm doing here. I'm picking those out, so it takes me a second to get everything that I want out, but this meal was so delicious. Now I'm just sitting down for dinner, probably going to scroll through TikToks here in a bit. That has literally been my life. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok if you're not already. It's just Cali Alexandria. But yeah, for dinner I typically try to do meats and a protein and maybe a complex carb like potatoes sometimes. But I find that just having a protein and a veggie or something just is perfect for me and my body type. I am not fully keto, but I do like low carb options. I just feel like they are the best for myself, my energy, and my body. So just figure out what works for you. But let me know in the comments what you guys typically have for dinner. Oh my gosh, now time for my favorite dizzard. I'm just making a little acai bowl, but my style, it's not fully acai. I pretty much just do some strawberries, banana, and like all this protein powder, some mixed fruit, just to make it a little bit more tropical. Of course, in the Nutribullet, Nutribullet is my best friend, and then I add granola and honey on it, and oh my gosh, it is so yummy and satisfies my sweet tooth. What are you doing? What are you doing, cutie? You must be so tired. You got a bath today, and you went for a walk. Y'all know what time it is. It is my warm lemon water. So I drink warm lemon water for the morning and then in the evening when I go to bed. It is my routine and I actually crave it now which is absolutely crazy. But now I'm just laying and playing with my dog and it's almost time to kind of just settle down for the night. So now I'm just picking something on Hulu to watch. I have been loving Riverdale lately. I'm on season four and it has been so addicting. I feel like season three has been the best season ever. But other than that, I love Love Island reality TV. Um, what else? But let me know what you guys like to watch. I just find that I really like reality TV. It's just something that could take my mind off of everything and I can just get lost in the show or movie. But if you guys have any recommendations for either Netflix or Hulu, please let me know. I'm always looking for new things to watch.
And that is going to conclude my evening routine. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like as it supports my channel and supports me. And subscribe because I post videos Wednesdays and Sundays. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.